In this video, I am going to share 10 most helpful but underrated keyboard shortcuts. These shortcuts will boost our productivity, especially when we are having online classes or meetings. Also in this video, I am going to show how these shortcuts work by providing simple examples. If you think this video is helpful, please press the like button. Please help me share this with your friends too. Maybe they are looking for this information. Thank you for showing your support by subscribing to my channel. If you are not yet subscribed, please press the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for updates. Now let's start with the list of significantly helpful Windows keyboard shortcuts. The first Windows keyboard shortcut that I'm going to share will take a screenshot of the whole computer screen, then directly save it to the screenshot folder under the pictures directory. Let me show you an example. Let's say I am in a meeting and I have to take a screenshot with the participants. I just have to press the Windows logo key on my keyboard, hold it, then press another key which is print screen. This has been useful for me too whenever I need to quickly capture the progress of the output of my students in Jamboard since someone might accidentally press the clear board button. Let's try it again. I will press the Windows logo key then while holding it, I will press print screen key. As we can see, it is now saved in the folder. The second shortcut is very helpful when we need to get a snippet of the screen. The nice thing about this is it will launch a toolbar that will give us different options. Let me show you the toolbar. I will press Windows Shift S. On the top of the screen, the toolbar has the following options. Rectangular Snip, Freeform Snip, Window Snip, and Full Screen Snip. Rectangular Snip allows a user to capture a specific portion of the screen. Freeform Snip allows you to cut an informal or custom shape of the screen. Window Snip captures a specific window, while Full Screen Snip takes a shot of the whole desktop screen, including the taskbar. For this demo, I will choose the Rectangular Snip. I now have the ability to select which part of the screen will be cut. This will not be automatically saved to any folder, because you will still be given a choice to annotate it using various tools in the snippet window. You will be able to mark up. Let's say I will use the highlighter, then emphasize a part of the screen. This will come handy when a teacher or student needs to label parts of a picture. The third shortcut is very helpful when we compare two screens or we just need to see those screens side by side. This can also be used when we would like to copy from one screen, then paste it to the other screen. Let me show you how this works. For example, I have these two windows. The first window is where I am going to copy the text, while the second is where I'm going to paste the copied text. For both of them to evenly occupy the computer screen, I will select the first screen then press Windows logo and the left arrow key. This will bring the window to the left side of the screen. As you notice, this is occupying the half of the screen now, and we are given an option what will be placed on the other half. We can also start placing window on the right side by pressing Windows logo, then the right arrow keys. Also, we can choose another window to be placed on the left side. The fourth key combination is very helpful when you have a lot of opened windows and you need to quickly view the desktop screen. To do that, we just simply press Windows logo, then letter D. You see, all the open windows are minimized and we are brought to the desktop screen. The fifth one will allow us to command computers using our voice. This is one of the most interesting features in Windows computers. I will press Windows logo then the letter H. On top of the screen, we will see a small rectangular shape pop-up box that will help us control the speech-to-text feature. Let me open a notepad. Then I will press the mic symbol on top of the screen to begin voice typing. I am now typing using my voice, enter. As we can see, the sentence I just said is now here on the notepad. 
A sixth keyboard shortcut will allow us to open the file explorer. This becomes very helpful when we need to quickly open a file from our computer directory. I will try it. I will press the Windows logo, then letter E. As we can see, we are now in the file explorer. Here we can navigate the screen to go to a specific folder. This seventh key combination will help us view all the things in our clipboard. Clipboard is the place where all the texts, objects, and images go to after choosing the copy option from an application, pressing the control C, or using the screenshot tools. The text, objects, and images are temporarily saved in the clipboard. Let me open my clipboard history by pressing Windows V. If not yet turned on, press the turn on button. Right now, we can see all these copied things I made recently. This is also helpful whenever you press print screen, then mistakenly press the same key which overwrites the old one. With this, even if it's overwritten, we can still access it, and that is because of this history window. The eighth keyboard shortcut is helpful when we want to easily open an application program with few steps. So instead of multiple clicks, we can just launch this tool. Let me show you by pressing Windows logo, then letter R keys. This small window is called Run Command Window. This will quickly open the program that you would like to use. By the way, before using this, you need to know first what are the names of the programs which you will enter in the command text box. For example, the word Notepad opens a new Notepad window. Calc launches a calculator program. WinWord opens Microsoft Word. Excel opens Microsoft Excel. PowerPNT opens Microsoft PowerPoint. Control opens Control Panel. And Chrome opens a Chrome browser. The ninth keyboard combination will help us to swiftly lock the screen. Look at what will happen when I press Windows logo, then the letter L keys. As we saw earlier, the screen has been locked and I was required to sign in to get back here. The last but definitely not the least keyboard shortcut is extremely helpful whenever you have multiple windows open. To easily switch from one window to another, we can press Alt-Tab. Notice that every time I press the tab while holding the Alt key, I move one thumbnail to the right. If you want this to move to the left side, then I will press Alt-Shift-Tab. I hope this video will help you in increasing your productivity by using Windows keyboard shortcuts. If you have other shortcuts that you would like to add in my list, please comment it down below. We will greatly appreciate it as it will surely help all of us. Thank you for your support.